Hey guys, today we're gonna to be building this mega menu right here and you can see you can have as many as you want. Um, and before we get started, I'm gonna show you how to build that just with code. But before we get started, I just wanted to show you I have a really easy way. If you just want a way to add a mega menu, I have a plugin, it's $10. And really it's super simple to edit. All you gotta do is you gotta add a section down here in your footer and you just gotta add this one little code block right there, that data mega menu, and then attach this link to whatever the folder link you had right at the top. So it's really easy to add this. Obviously there's one more piece of code, so don't just copy this and expect it to work. There's one more piece of code that I'll give you if you buy it, uh, but this is really what we're, this is the simple way. If you want to learn the coding way, how to do it, how to code it yourself, stay tuned. That's what we're gonna be doing right now. All right, guys, welcome. Here is the article on my website, super easy mega menu for Squarespace 7.1. Uh, let's just roll down here to the project breakdown and sort of talk about what we're going to be doing right now. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a section to our footer. Then we're going to add the folder that we want it to go to. Then we're going to write some code that's going to do the actual moving. And I'll talk a little bit about that. And then some CSS to style it and make sure it looks the way we want it to do. And then, of course, we need to check it on mobile. So that'll be the last thing. So those are our five steps. All right, step one, let's create the footer section that we want to become our mega menu. So if you hit your edit button on any page on your website, because your footer is going to be on every single page on your website, that's also why we're doing it in the footer. You can scroll down to the bottom and hit this edit footer button. It sometimes is a little bit elusive, so hit the edit footer button, and then add a new section. You can see I've already created the, the content that I want down here. I've added a new section, then added it on the blocks that I want and made it how I want to look. So I'll let you pause the video, go do this right now, build out your mega menu the way you'd want, but as a section in the footer. I've also created a second one here. I'll, don't No need to do that right now, just create one. All right, step two, let's add the main nav item. So over here into pages, you're gonna wanna click this plus icon, hit folder, and then create this folder, call it whatever you want. I think I called mine's men's, uh, men's clothing, and I'd also do a women's clothing one later. So, and then hit this gear icon, then change the URL slug to men's clothing, or just, you can make this whatever you want. You don't have to put the words mega menu or anything in there. Just create this as the whatever you want and we will remember what it is because we're gonna use this later. All right, step three, what we want to do is grab our footer section right here and we want to move it up here. This is a drop down, but I have no content in it right now. So why don't we just do that? Why don't I just grab a category and drop it into, here's my folder and just drop it in there. So you'll see a little drop down. You can see that drop down right there as I hover over it. So we want to add that footer section into this drop down. So for this, we're going to use jQuery. And so this is a JavaScript plugin pretty much that allows us to write JavaScript, but in a much more clear, more easy to understand syntax. So first things, if you don't have jQuery installed, open up a new tab, just type in uh, J, jQuery CDN, Content Delivery Network, and this is just gonna make sure jQuery gets loaded on your website really fast. Hit this minified button, copy that, copy that, hit that button to copy, go back to your website, go to Home, Settings, Advanced, Code Injection, and then paste it in here at the top. You see, I already have jQuery installed, I already have the link within the script right there, so I'm not gonna do it again, but if you don't have it, make sure you paste it in there. So, save that, we'll go back. Now, jQuery is installed on your website. It's pulling in that code due to that script link, and now we can actually write jQuery. So, I'm gonna go back to our page here, and let's write that code. So, what do we want to do? We want to, in jQuery syntax, it's called append. So, we wanna find this folder item in the code, in the HTML. We wanna find the HTML that defines this folder element, and then we wanna grab our footer, our footer element, find the code that defines that footer element and append it within here, within our folder. So let me sort of show you what I mean. Let me just show you a quick little demo of what append does. So pretend this is our folder section and I've defined it as gray with our CSS here. So our folder is our gray block right here and our footer section is our red block right here. What append does is it 
selects this. If we put in the right selectors, it selects this, deletes it from there, and adds it into there. So it makes it the child element of what we've selected. So this is what it would look like. It moves that red block from down here and puts it inside this folder. So that's what we're doing. And I will show you real quickly. And you just do that using this jQuery code down here. You see I'll get rid of this comment and it will do, 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 put it in there. So that's what this is doing. We're saying select our folder right here and then append then let's select our footer section. So we're adding this footer section within the folder. So that's the general idea of what we're going to be doing, but we obviously need to use the right selectors and select the right elements, the HTML elements on our page. So let's take a look at how do we do that? How do we find those selectors? So first thing, we need to find something that is, that is unique. We need to find whatever is unique about this drop-down box. And honestly, the most unique thing, if we look at our HTML here, we have this href. And so this is, this is the link. So if I click on this, it goes to men's clothes. That is the unique link. No other, no other header item can have that link or else you'd have, I guess you could have multiple, but you don't really want to. So this is our unique link that we're going to use. So we want to select our A or href here. And also, Squarespace breaks down the, the header items into our, you have your, your header that's on desktop and then your header that's on mobile. And those are two separate elements. And you can see that if we scroll up a little bit, you see this class header display desktop and header display mobile. And so what you see on mobile here, doo -doo -doo, oh, that's going to pop me out. What you see on, it's going to refresh everything. Well, that is frustrating, huh? What you see on mobile here, here we go. So these elements are actually separate from, from our desktop elements. These are two different HTML blocks or elements that we have. So we want to make sure we're selecting the desktop version, not the mobile version. So, if we grab this same syntax from our jQuery down here, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go into our code editor for the page. This is, this is for, actually, we want to do this site-wide, not just on one page. So I'm going to go back to home, go to our settings, advanced code injection, and let's do this in the footer. So, we're writing JavaScript, so I'm going to write these opening and closing script tags going to paste that in. So let's add our first, our folder selector here, which let's open this guy back up. And our folder selector is first we want to make sure we're grabbing the desktop version. So I'm going to grab our header desktop display and this is a class so I'm going to use the dot. So dot dot header desktop display space because we want to find the child. Then I'm going to select our href men's clothes. So this is, since I'm selecting this entire attribute string, the, the attribute name here and the value here, we're going to wrap the whole thing in these square brackets. And so that's the syntax for grabbing an entire attribute in HTML. And then space, because we want to do the child, but not really the child. This is actually the sibling element. So this is, we want to find, right now, our jQuery is finding our element with a header display desktop, then finding the child element with this href, and then href, then we want to find the sibling. And the way we do a sibling combinator is this plus. And so then that's the sibling of that. So, and since that's a class, we're going to do a dot there as well. And then we want to append our footer section. So let's scroll down here to find the HTML that's unique to our footer section. So I'm going to grab our selector, hover over our section right here. The way I like to do it is using the the data section ID. That's what I like to find, find which is always within our section element. Uh, but you can also just do find the footer. This might be a little simpler. Find our footer. Um, and I think our, yeah, it has an idea of footer section. So I'm going to 
select our element with an ID of footer sections and then within that I'm going to find the section nth of type and so this will be it's going to find the section that is the second section so I'm looking in our footer sections and grabbing the second section section right there within that so I'm going to hit save and let's see what happens so it looks like it's not down there anymore and boom there it is so this is this looks terrible and we're going to fix this up in part four but this is the general idea of how we move it from the footer up until up to our folder area and actually before i go notice this is in the footer section right here but what if i cut this out right here and put it in our header maybe just so it runs faster and let's hit save let's see what happens Doo -doo -doo. it's refreshing I hover over this, it's not there anymore. Why isn't it there? Well, it's not there because this is in the top of our HTML document. This code is in the top. And so it's saying, okay, first look for our header display, this stuff, and then append this stuff. None of that stuff has been loaded yet because that's all further down on the HTML document. So it's not, it's not able to find it. So it just skips it. It just says, okay, well, it's not there. I'm just going to skip over it all. So that's why it's not working in the header. If you want it to work in the header, you can write this little bit, this uh, this dollar sign function, function, and then curly brackets, and then so wrap all of this in our jQuery function. And now this is saying let's wait first until the entire document loads, the entire website, and then let's run this code. And so if I hit save, now this is going to work. It's going to be right there. All right, now let's design what we what we have right here using our CSS. So I'm going to go to design, custom CSS, and then we want to select this uh, this drop down folder that we have and make some tweaks to it. So let's do this. Let's use what we had before the selectors we were using before. I'm just going to actually copy them from our settings advanced the code we just added right here it's this top selector right there that's what I want copy that we're gonna go back to our design area custom CSS I'm gonna paste it in right there opening closing curly brackets then we want to make the width 100 percent of the viewport of whatever we're looking at it on so I'm just gonna say width 100 VW and so there we go it's set but it's sort of misaligned so let's fix some alignment issues uh, first thing we want to do let's set the position to be fixed and then that way there we go so that sort of centers it up a little bit right in the middle uh, we don't want you see we have this spacing issue I could, I could probably let's see Oh, that actually looks fine, but it's a little bit off. It looks like there should probably be some padding around the left and right sides, which is overflowing. So I am going to fix this padding uh, by saying, if you do have that border box uh, or box sizing is the property you want. Box sizing, border box, and that should fix some of that. There we go. But now you see it's a little off. So let's change our right uh, zero important. And then left zero important so this is all positioning here so now we're positioned correctly and maybe we don't want that padding in there right zero px there we go and then we also let's give it a little styles to make this pop out from the rest maybe a border bottom uh, border bottom uh, let's do one pixel solid they'll throw that down there and then maybe a box shadow uh, which will do zero pixels uh, I think that's left and then five pixels down five pixels for a blur and then let's change the color to just like a really light color maybe like DDD there we go oh, that's probably too white so let's do like 888 there we go that looks nice so now we got a little blur down there Doo -doo -doo. And then you see we still have our item right in right right there. So we're, so we want to make sure we've removed that as well. So let's look at our code. Let's see what is pulling that up. I'm going to grab my selector, click on our item here, hover, hover, and then let's select this guy. And it looks like it is our within. Oh, just this whole 
let's see, we have our page section right here. So our header nav folder items, that's what we want to delete. So I can do those and display none, but that's going to display none of them on any of your websites. So we only want to do those that are specific to that. So there we go. So that is the code we're going to use to not have it display there. Finally, let's make sure this looks good on mobile. So I'm going to make this mobile view, hit men's clothes. It's just this one category. So you can see this mobile is going to take whatever items that we put in our folder in our pages section right here. So if you want to add more folders, more items within there, these are going to pop up here. So in, in my case here, I might add like men's clothes, hats, women's clothes, shoes, dog clothing, those as my category items in here. So on mobile, it would be really easy to navigate to. Okay, and let's say I wanted to add another mega menu down here. Well, I'd do the same thing. I'd create this section down here in my footer. I'd come over to our pages. We'd add that next folder in there. The URL for this folder, just quickly running through the steps, is women's clothes. So I'm going to go back to home, settings. We're going to duplicate the jQuery that we added in our code injection page header area. Whoop, let's copy that and then let's paste it in right below, still within our curly brackets here, within there. And we want to change this to women's clothes, but don't, no need to change that because you see once this runs, then our second section is automatically there. It just pops up there already. So this, we're still wanting, this is our first footer section. We're still wanting to grab the second footer section because it's sort of moving up in the line. So when I hit save here, this should pop up, but it's not styled in the same way as we are here. So let's just change our CSS to add in the same sort of selectors that we have up here. So you see we have our men's clothes here after all of this, right before our curly bracket, I'm just going to do a comma to say, let's add another selector we want these styles to apply to. Then paste that in there and change the URL to women's. And there we go. And then we also need to delete those. So we're going to do the same, same thing down here. Change that to women's. And boom, there we go. So we are done on both of those. So that's how you would add multiple. Again, I have some code that you can just drop in there. It makes it really easy to update. Also, the pro one problem with this method of doing this, it makes it difficult to go in and edit these when you want to edit these. If you need to edit it, you have to go to our settings, advanced uh, code injection, and you have to disable this code by just commenting this out. You can do uh, forward slash star, and then at the end, star backslash comments it out and then none of this code is going to work so then we can go in and edit it and change these footer the elements down there and then redo it so the the plugin allows you you can just edit it normally you don't have to go through that process every time it'll just show up in the footer and you can edit it only in the editing mode of course um, so there's the difference so hope this helps let me know if you have any other questions or styling tweaks you'd like to do um, subscribe, do all that stuff, and let me know if you have any questions. Take it easy.